Pascal's principle says an external pressure applied to a confined fluid is transmitted undiminished throughout the entire fluid. If I squeeze this bottle of confined water, the extra added pressure is transmitted undiminished throughout the entire fluid, including the pack of confined air inside. In 1646, while working out his principle, Pascal performed an experiment using a barrel with an over 10 meter tall thin tube attached to the lid of the barrel. The barrel was filled with water and then water was poured into the thin tube. Suppose the tube has an inner diameter of 0.8 centimeters. And when water was filled to 10 meters high inside the tube, the barrel burst and began to leak. Find the mass of water inside the tube the moment before the barrel burst. Find the pressure on the inside of the barrel lid the moment before the barrel burst. A. The mass of the water in the tube is the density times the volume. The density of water is a thousand. The volume of the water inside the tube is the volume of the cylinder. The volume of the cylinder is the cross-sectional area times the height. The cross-sectional area is pi r squared. So the volume is pi r squared. The radius is the diameter. 0.8 centimeters means 0 0.008 meters. Divided by 2, that gives me the radius. So pi r squared times the height of the cylinder. The water is filled to 10 meters, so the height of the cylinder is 10. So this is the cross-sectional area times the height. And this gives me 0 0.503 kilograms, about half a kilogram of the water. Part B. The pressure on the inside of the barrel lid. On the surface of the water, it is exposed to the atmosphere. So on the top, we have atmospheric pressure. And then we have the rho GH of the water column. So the pressure on the inside of the barrel lid would equal to PO plus the rho GH of the water. If I want to use Pascal's, then everything I put here has to be in standard unit. So it's 10 to the fifth Pascal's plus the rho, a thousand, times G times the height of the water column is 10. So this gives me 2 times 10 to the fifth Pascal's, twice the atmospheric pressure. When the tube is empty, a barrel full of water would have atmospheric pressure on the surface of the water inside and the atmospheric pressure on the outside of the lid. So there would be no pressure difference between the inside and the outside of the lid. When the tube is filled with about half a kilogram of water, the pressure difference between the inside and the outside would become a lot bigger. The pressure difference would be 2 times 10 to the fifth Pascal's inside, and on the outside it would be the atmospheric pressure 10 to the fifth. So the pressure difference is 100,000 Pascal's. That big a pressure difference created by only half a kilogram of water. If the lid of the barrel has a radius of 0.2 meters, that means the area of the barrel lid would be pi r squared, pi times 0.2 squared. We would have an area of uh, about 0.126 meters squared. And that means uh, the force on the lid created by this pressure difference would be force is the pressure times the area. That's uh, 100,000 times uh, 0.126, which gives us uh, 12,600 newtons of force.
that much force on the lid of the barrel created by only half a kilogram of water. Isn't that amazing? That's why only that little bit of water added to the tube can make the barrel burst. This is because the pressure produced by a fluid at rest is rho gh. The depth is the one that makes a difference. So if we compare these two containers filled with water to the same height, the pressure here and there would be exactly the same, even though there is very little water filled in this tube.